Good morning. I'm going to our first ultrasound for dating the baby and seeing how old it is. But first, we have to go pick up Galahad. So we're going to go pick up Galahad. And then look at the baby. Wow, it's snowing. I can't watch we're gonna look at the pictures of the baby, Galahad. Yeah. About eight, eight weeks. About eight weeks. Eight weeks. Wow. Already. Yeah, already. Good morning. It is 7.30 in the morning and we're starting off our day by laminating some dried flowers. Hello. I've been feeling like really uncomfortable today, so I figured I would make a two month pregnancy symptoms feelings video i am eight weeks pregnant currently and it is mid-december my stomach is huge <laughs> this just happened like today my stomach was fine before and i fit in my other pants fine and then all of a sudden Today my stomach is huge. I'll show you later in the video, but I thought it was due to bloating But I'm looking at the babycenter.com right now and they say that you start showing at five to six months with your first child But with subsequent children sometimes your organs can expand faster So that happened with Zeke as well with my second son where my stomach would just quickly expand and I was showing like two three months in compared to when I was showing like halfway through my pregnancy with Galahad my first son it does say that my uterus doubles at this point at eight weeks because of the amniotic fluid that is inside the uterus and also the growing placenta and it pushes the intestines up over your pelvis causing a bump other symptoms I've been feeling is like super exhaustion like extreme exhaustion I'm like sleeping all the time and I'm so tired and I think it has to do with my nausea medication as well because I have like really bad nausea. I feel like it's worse than when I was pregnant with Zeke because when I was pregnant with Zeke when I took my medication at least the nausea subsided and I was like fine but with this baby I'm taking my nausea pills and only half of my nausea is going down. I don't feel like it's that effective and I still feel like quite nauseous and sick and i feel like super exhausted i'm like falling asleep randomly um and it is a side effect of the diclectin the nausea medication but i don't know i just feel like it's like quite intense i don't really know how to feel <laughs> about like feeling all this craziness they do say that the more nausea you experience could be a good thing it could be it could mean that the baby is quite healthy because the baby's hormones are like causing the mother to feel more sick there was a study done on that but i haven't read up on it i just heard it from a friend but that was the case with zeke he was extremely healthy baby and he had caused me a lot of nausea compared to galahad and galahad like didn't cause me any nausea at all and he failed the at guard test I think that's what it's called the test that all babies do to check for their vitals and stuff he was failing in like breathing and other things and crying but this is my belly it's like huge is it not I don't know if it's bloating or like because my amniotic fluid is developed and then everything is getting pushed up but I feel like literally my stomachs and my esophagus I just want to throw up but I can't throw up because my body's not good throwing up Oh my gosh, I feel like I shouldn't talk anymore because I feel so nauseous. I'll measure around my belly button. Oh my gosh, my stomach is huge. It's like protruding more than my breasts are. This is not normal. At my waist, I'm 30 inches. At my belly button, I'm 32 and a half inches. My stomach feels huge. I'm not even 32 and a half. I'm 33. <sighs> but other than that, I feel like everything else is pretty good. I mean, we've, you know, held it in our hearts and started making um, plans and thinking of ideas of how we can 
function once the baby is born. I think the kids are excited, they know about it, and we're excited as well. It's gonna definitely be a change, and um, we're excited to take you along with this journey with us because we didn't really vlog for neither Galahad's or Zeke's pregnancies and their births. So we're really excited to document it this time and share it with you. We're also really excited to meet the baby even when it will be in the new year. And we don't have a particular preference for gender, but I think we will both like a daughter. But I mean, as long as the baby's healthy, you know, we just take it as a blessing and, you know, it's his gift. So it's our role to steward and to do our best to take care of this child who, you know, is ultimately not our child. So if you would like to stay updated, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. We'll be posting a lot of vlogs and like update videos like this. If you have any suggestions, please let us know and we'll see you next time.